Go. 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 Okay, gentlemen, stop here. Now I wish to bring home another lesson. Okay, please come that side. Now you have used this plank to bridge this gap from the start line to this. Why? Because it is more than two feet. Correct? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now I would like to ask you a question here. Why have you not placed this plank on this structure and why have you placed it on this structure? Anyone? That is more inclined. Which is more inclined? So the taller. That's the taller. Which one? So what is going to happen? It will be difficult to climb. So that means the angle from here to there is more acute. Correct? Yes sir. So what you have done? You have reduced that angle so that it is easier to climb and it is less likely to slip. Yes, Correct? Yes sir. If this was your aim, then I would like to ask you, why have you placed this end of the plank here? Can this still be pulled back? Yes sir. Is this angle less steep now? Yes, yes sir. sir. Is it more stable? Yes, yes sir. sir. So therefore, please remember these small lessons. Please make life as comfortable as yourself for yourself as possible. Clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. So, at the first instance, if you make this kind of an angle on this similar structure, the GTO will definitely grade you higher in your organizing ability than he would if you had put this here, even if you had put it here. This angle is still more acute than as compared to placing it there. Now, when you guys have placed this here and you have kept it like this, then the angle is still pretty acute. Right? Yes, sir. So these are small tips and tricks which I am telling you. Bear them in mind to be used as and when you go to the assessment. Alright? Yes, sir. Carry on. Download the SSB Shortshot app from Google Play Store to access courses for written exams like NDA, CDS and FCAT. You can also find courses for SSB Personality Development and Spoken English. Apply the coupon code SIGNUP15 to get 15% off on your first purchase. Call us on 725-930-7111 for any queries. Don't put like here. Don't put like here. Just move forward. Just move forward. Help him. So now once again, let me bring home this lesson. Number 34, chest number 34 had very correctly pointed out and said don't put your foot here. He remembered the lesson which was taught previously that this is the unanchored portion of the fulcrum uh, of the, I beg your pardon, of the cantilever. Right? However, 32 still managed to put his foot here. So you have to be careful to ensure that you do not destabilize the structure. Alright? Yes sir. Is that clear? Yes sir. Okay, carry on. No. No. Come forward, come Can forward, I? come forward. Yes, give me one person. All right, hold it here. So now you have successfully made the bridge from the start line till the structure by using both the bully and the plank. Correct? Yes sir. yes sir. Obviously, this is a very workable solution and you will get all the credit for it. Okay? Yes sir. Now, I ask you, I briefed you earlier also that you must look at all the structures very carefully. Now, can you do something else to bridge this gap between this P? Yes, we yes, can, sir, we can pull, pull it back in the B, B shape, B shape. 
करेक्ट so there are three methods of crossing this gap and you have successfully found all the three methods all right yes, sir. okay carry on don't forget to subscribe to our new channel ssb show short plus for exclusive new videos also follow us on instagram for all the latest updates check out a show short guide to crack ssb on amazon the link is in the description below Come. We need the rope and the balli over here. Yeah. Pass the rope. Pass the rope. Pass the rope. Give me that. I'll tie it here. Till there. Okay, hold it. Okay, hold it. Give him the hand. Give him. Good. Yes. Okay. We can take out the balli. Which one? Yes, sir. Do it that way. Put it down, put it down. Yeah, put it down. Yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, leave it. Put it at the corner. We can, we can. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, give me a hand. Come. One person can go. Wait, 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 wait. I'll go there. Just you go. There. Hold it, hold. Hold this. No need. To move. Yes, go. All right. Now hold it here. You can come down. Now I would like to bring to your attention the same old fact that you must look at your structures carefully. Correct? Did I say this? Yes, sir. How many times I must have repeated this? A number of times. Yes, sir. Right. Now you have solved this puzzle of reaching from this end to this end by supporting your balli on the rope. Correct? Yes, sir. Is it necessary to use the rope, or is there a way of doing the same thing without using the rope? Without yes, sir. Without the rope. How can we do that? Would you like to demonstrate? Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, please remember, you are performing these tasks against time. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. you have to use your resources as efficiently as possible firstly in terms of effort in terms of time and also in terms of utilization of your resources it may be possible to bridge the gap using only one of the helping materials provided so therefore look at it carefully to ensure that you make your life as simple as possible all right yes, while well, you have successfully found a way of uh, going across by tying a rope right and placing this end on the rope and uh, this will also work and it has worked but it has taken time for you and effort for you to tie the rope whereas simply placing your balli one end on this platform one end on that platform is far more efficient and faster and is it relatively more stable yes sir why because it is on the ground it is on the ground at the same level when the one end is higher one end is lower 
obviously there is an incline it is a little more difficult for the person also to go across it is also a little more difficult to stabilize it because then you will require greater effort to hold the one end of the bully to stabilize it is it clear yes sir, sir. all right here you are carry on there does no place here you need the plank here so people can go forward we can put there we can put it you can you can jump on that and from there you can go give me first just one leg one leg one leg one more person can go there one leg first okay hold on just move forward hold on hold on now the way you are trying to stabilize this bully in this fashion by putting your foot on top of it there is a chance that if your weight shift it will shift just do now like can you stand yes hold it between the both the legs now there is no chance that this bully will move left or right yes. your hand is also free to give him your hand to help him walk yes. give some space to correct now that he reach there so he can cross while you continue to be there stabilizing the bully clear yes. so in this is how all of you can easily go across understood yes, yes sir all right thank you